You might be shocked to realize the biggest thing that I've seen in the fall that's causing problems in the lawn this year in my area is armadillos, okay? I don't know whether you love them or hate them. They're little unique creatures. They, they can't see very well. They jump real high. They got hairy stomachs. There's a lot of weird things about them. But in what I have noticed is in the fall, and this has happened several times, when the weather gets really dry, the armadillos start coming out of the woods and dig around in people's yards. Now the assumption is they're going after the grubs in the lawn so that if you can get rid of the grubs, hopefully the armadillos will go away. And that's exactly what I'm going to attempt to do today. Now, I have done lawns uh, even this year, I know where I put out a grub control treatment and they still got hammered with armadillos this fall. So I tell the customer when I'm doing, I say, listen, here's the best thing I know to do is let's put out a grub control product. Uh, and this is also, by the way, what we try to do when people complain about moles. But from a lawn care perspective, try not to make any guarantees. You say, I'm happy to treat the grubs. That is uh, possibly what they're in your yard eating. I just can't guarantee that that's gonna make the armadillos go away. In my experience, when we've had other years where the weather got really dry in the fall and the armadillos start digging up people's yards, typically they do go away in the winter and they just dig up your yard. One guy asked me if I had aerated his yard because it was so messed up. So the armadillos make a big mess in your yard. The moles make kind of little underground tunnels. So let me show you in this video what we're gonna do about the armadillos, the product I'm gonna to use to treat um, for grubs and talk to you a little bit about that. Now I'll give you another option if you want to try to get rid of the armadillos in your yard. So you see this product called Criterion and the active ingredient, if you can see here, is imidacloprid. So this is a generic version of the product that's called Merit. And you can go over here and you'll look at the actual pests that it controls. And there's a lot of pests on here. It says uh, weevils, garden beetle, bill bug, cut worms, Mass Schaefer, Japanese beetle. These are used for a lot of things. Chinch bug, mole crickets, I mean, lots of things. So, and the rate on here for uh, for that first list of bugs I listed at least is 60 to 80 pounds per acre or 1.4 to 1.8 pounds per thousand square feet. So I'm going to go um, with this yard I'm going to is about 6,000 square feet. Going to go with that high rate 1.8 pounds per thousand square feet and see if we can't control the grubs in the lawn. Another example where we use this product is on your azaleas, and this one's not going to show it too much because I think I actually treated these just in my house. But sometimes you'll see the leaf of the azalea shrubs turning really brown, and it's something called a azalea lace bug. My, and that little bug is poking holes into the leaf of your plant, causing it to have a lot of little brown spots, giving it a brown appearance. So again, this is a, a product can be used for that as well as a lot of different pests in the lawn that it can take care of. For today's application, I'm going to put this in this solo chest mounted spreader. I found that this is a really handy product. I'll put a link to this particular spreader in the description below. I use this spreader a lot for spreading fertilizer, especially on small lawns or a lawn that's got a big hill where I can't ride it or use a push spreader. Uh, to me, this works great, throws a good pattern and they're relatively uh, inexpensive in my opinion. All right, so let's go over to the customer's house. Let's look and see what the armadillo damage looks like. We'll treat the lawn and then uh, hopefully we'll get a good report that, that made the armadillos go away. You can do a Google search for this if you got armadillos in the lawn. I know people have done this and it works. There's a company out there, maybe more than one, that makes these armadillo box traps. And it's basically a wooden box that has a little door on it that, that catches them when they walk inside of it. it's a live trap and armadillos don't see very well so they scent it with the armadillo scent some people even bait it with some kind of uh, earthworms or something like that but I've heard that people just don't even use it with bait they just make it where it, it goes along the path of the armadillo but I know people who have told me that those things actually do work uh, to catch the armadillos in your yard so that's another option but anyway we're gonna go try to kill the grubs and uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, I'll pull up on the house. Let me just say this before I forget about it. If you're gonna treat for grubs in your lawn, typically that's something we do in say May or June when the grubs are in a smaller stage of their life cycle and easier to control. Let me show you what the armadillo damage looks like and then we will get to treating the lawn. 
Okay, so I have seen far worse than this, but this is basically what it looks like. And maybe it, I should go look in the backyard as well. But you can see, it just looks like somebody's just digging around here. And that's exactly what they are doing. It's not somebody, but it's uh, something. The armadillo is just digging around. But again, some of them are far worse than this. Let me look in the backyard and see what it looks like back there. It does look like there's a little bit of damage back here as well which I guess they're able to get through this privacy fence somehow or another. They just, I mean, they're, they're great at digging. So they might uh, be digging underneath the privacy fence, maybe somewhere like that, where they just crawl underneath there. I will say the armadillos, they're fairly nocturnal. So it's most likely they're coming out in the middle of the night on your yard. All right, that's what it looks like. I've got the metacloprid in the container here in the spreader. And I'm going to get the spray and got my PPE on. Again, we're going for about 1.8 pounds of this for every thousand square feet. All right, we made the application. I'll be back over here in a few weeks to put out lime on this yard and I can look and see if hopefully no more damage. Also, we're getting some really cold weather soon. So I don't know what the cold weather, how that's gonna affect the grubs, how it's gonna affect the armadillos. If you know some of that information, I'd love to hear it in the comments below. Also, if you have a tip on how you get rid of armadillos, please leave it below in the comments. The Quip XO is coming up very soon at the time I'm recording this video. If you get half price off your registration, if you register with the discount code Lawn Care Life, that's all one word, Lawn Care Life. Also, I've got some new things coming out on the website soon, new pricing chart for weed control and fertilization. There's also the Weed Control and Fertilization Academy. If I was gonna start a weed control and fertilization business next year, I would wanna get start in the fall getting everything ready, get a plan, get uh, my chemicals, get a spray rig, understand uh, what my target area is and start getting all that things together. That way you don't wanna just be scrambling come January to get everything together. I'm talking about people in the South. If you live up North, maybe January is fine because you might not start doing anything till March or April. But for us, uh, I'm gonna be out there spraying most likely early January. So if I wanted to be in that position, then I would wanna get everything ready, get my license and all that before so. So I would encourage you to do that. I am considering strongly and love to hear from you in the comments if those, uh, anybody would be interested in this, but possibly, this november or december which is not coming up too far from now doing like a one day spray uh technician training kind of thing so we would get out there um, show you how to spray we would talk about chemicals for those that you want to be hands-on talk about calibrating talking about what to spray and sort of get you ready for what you need because i found that some people they don't have uh, the information they need to get started. They know that maybe there's a lot of money in weed control and fertilization, but they just don't know exactly what to do. So it would be like a one day cram session for that, telling you what to spray, when to spray it, how much to charge, uh, how to calibrate, let you look at ride on equipment, um, spray rigs, things like that, and crammed into one day. So if you're interested in doing something like that, it would help me if you'd leave a comment and let me know, because I'm thinking about doing that about a month from now. And if you think you're gonna be at the Equip Expo, come by and see me. I'll be at the Xmark booth on 1030 on Thursday, giving out the Z-Spray shirt. Z-Turf equipment makes the Z-Sprays. Uh, I'm gonna be over there with Jeremy Connect is uh, the guy's name. We're handing out those um, T-shirts. You guys can give him a follow also. And then I'm also giving away a Spiker Spreader. I believe it's Thursday at one o'clock. So hope to see some of you there. We'll see you in the next video.